The many people that came, many people that came for battle. God says, these men are too much. I don't want a lot of people. I want just a few guys that are serious minded. And God says, God, take them to the river. I'm going to separate the soldiers and the, the weaklings. Amen. Amen. Soldiers, when they come to the river, they will not bow and drink water. Because if you are a soldier, you, you bow on the river, you will be killed. Hallelujah. But those that shall drink water like this, they are soldiers indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. God took Samaria by one woman that was regarded a prostitute. If God needed only one prostitute to win the whole city, what of you? Hallelujah. Amen. That Samaritan Amen. woman, she, she never knew a lot of scriptures. Are you hearing me? She never knew a lot of what? She only was, she had an encounter. How many, how long have you been with Jesus? How many years are you, have you been born again? But that lady was born again within hours, within hours, within hours of being born again, she was told. She said, she said, Sir, Jesus said, give me the order. She said, don't you understand that you are a Jew, I'm a Samaritan, and we don't have a what? A relationship. Jesus said, if only you knew the one who is asking water from you. You were actually going to ask for water from me. And the woman said, say, are you greater than Jacob, our father, that dig us this, the well and gave us the well? Jesus said, hallelujah. Amen. Greater than Jacob is he. Hallelujah. And the woman said, say, please. Jesus said, the water that I give you, when you drink it, you shall not taste again. My God, hallelujah. The woman said, say, please give me the water. And Jesus said, go and call your husband. What do you think Jesus is doing? Jesus is saying, I'm giving you the water, but I want you to maintain the water. If I don't deal with your details, you will not be able to want to maintain the water. So let us deal with the issues of your life so that I can help you to maintain the water. Some people receive the water. This water is blessing. This water is breakthrough. This water is the answered prayer. This water is what you have been asking God for. But Jesus said, I need to know the details of your life so that I can help you to maintain the water. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes people just want God to bless them. People want blessing into their life. But they don't want us to talk about their, their details of life. Do you want the water? Yes. Where is your husband? The church has now become, I mean, I mean, the church has been so much reduced to an obsession of blessing. We are so obsessed of the breakthrough, so that we don't care about other details of life. But let me tell you something. Are we having church? Are we having church? Let me tell you something. God made it. God is confined about the details of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't just come to God and say, I need breakthrough. No, 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 no. You want breakthrough, yes. But God wants to check. How is your, 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 your emotional life? God wants to check. How are your relations with other people? You want blessing, but you have a terrible PR. Your, your PR is very bad. Hallelujah. The way you relate with others is very bad. That's why some people are not being blessed by God. Because you have got a terrible relation. You, 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 you mess up relations about, uh, around your life. You are so careless. You are brutal with others. You are so brutal. Christians have become most brutal people. They speak in tongues but brutal. How do you speak in tongues but very brutal? Can, uh, how, I mean, can, how can the two cohabit? How can the well bring out sweet water and at the same time bitter water? To be a Christian is not to have many times. To be a Christian is to demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit. I rather have the fruit of the Spirit and don't speak with one tongue. What's the purpose of speaking with a thousand tongues? And I'm very cruel. I am unkind. I'm forgiving. Many people you go into work and ask, who is the most cruel workmate here? They will show you that sister who speaks with many tongues. Chaka, chaka, stop! Yeah. <laughs> stop! stop. Mm. Wake on your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Wake on your heart. Yeah. Wake on your heart. Because salvation is not going to come because of time. Salvation is going to come because of the fruit of the Spirit that you demonstrate. Do you have the fruit of the Spirit? When people look at you, they must say, I see 
God in you. My God. I see Christ in you. In Roman, I see Christ in you. And the God that you said, what made Ruth to forsake her people? Naomi must yet be a great mother-in-law. Naomi must yet be a loving mother. To an extent that Ruth felt that I cannot let go of this woman. You told her the son to marry me. But the love that you have, I cannot go. Because Ruth said, your God shall be my God. How can you make someone who is cruel your God? She was a loving mother-in-law. To an extent that Ruth said, I will cling to you. Your God must be a good God. Because you are so good. The way you are good, your God must be a good God. Hallelujah. The way you are so kind, your God must be a kind God. The way you are so generous, your God must be a generous God. The way you are so stingy, some of you, you are a believer, but very stingy. Very stingy. Huh? Very, very stingy. You are very stingy. Hallelujah. Are you ready? You are, you, are, you are displaying a, you, you are representing God, you are misrepresenting your God. Hallelujah. I heard someone say, you know what? Somebody says, you know what? Christians are making people to hate God. Hallelujah. Because the eggs, our eggs are questionable. Our eggs are what? Questionable. Are questionable. Hallelujah. Our eggs are questionable. And so the devil has taken us seeds. He has, he has taken us hostage these days. Even messages in the, in the church. You are blessed you are hearing this message. Hallelujah. Amen. Everywhere you can ask men of God, we are seized. Now we are peaceful with breakthrough. Wait, which breakthrough now? Which breakthrough? The breakthrough you need is forgiveness. If you forgive, do 20 seconds in prayer. God answer prayer. 20 seconds. God what? But you, you say breakthrough, breakthrough. Please, please, breakthrough. You move from pillar to post. You move from that man of God to another one, to that one, to that one. Some people have got many hands on their head, which are not even work now. They are multiple anointings, some which we don't know where they come from. Are you hearing me? The fact you cannot run away from place to place. Please, the issue is forgive. When you forgive, blessing God. Just that when you remove anger, anger, and bitterness, you make way for what? This is the gospel. We can as well speak grace. <laughs> this is the gospel. That's all. This is the gospel. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is worried about the details of your life. Hallelujah. He does not want you to remain the same. He wants the blessing to come. Yes, I want to give you water. Hallelujah. Some say the water is the prophetic word that Jesus wanted to give. I'm willing to give you the water. But I'm also worried about your situation. I want you the details of your life. I want your life to transform. Blessing without transformation is that amount to a case. Amen. You people, you listen to a prophet without writing. You're blessed. Amen. Amen. When you listen to a prophet, you write notes. You record it. So Amen. Amen. Blessing without transformation is that amount to your what? To a text. Write the vocabulary. They are learning words in the vocabulary. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? To have blessing without transformation. It is that amount you want to a case. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So Jesus said, Go and call your husband. And the woman said to Jesus, Master, I do not have one a husband. Jesus said, You are correct. You have not had that. You don't have a husband. You have said the truth. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, You, you have had five of them. And the one you have is not what? And Jesus, the woman said, I perceive you are what? A prophet. I perceive you are what? A I perceive you are what? A Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus said, the woman was given the water. She was given. Amen. 
And the Bible says, the woman left the water pots and the rain. She never waited for Bible school. She never waited for what? For Bible school. She didn't know any scripture. She rushed to the whole city and said, come! Hallelujah! Come! And see the man that we told me about my life. It's a testimony. Hallelujah. She used the testimony. Could this be the Christ? Come! The whole city went to Christ. Winning the city for Christ. I'm telling you, we need girls that win the city. You listen to me. You are sitting upon the power that God has given you. Some of you here, you know people that gossip a lot. The fact that you gossip, you are, you are, it's, a, it's a negative gift, which must be used positively. People who gossip a lot are evangelists. Okay. <laughs> because they don't keep, they don't, they cannot keep the, 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 the tidings. They want to share. They want to share. That means you are a wife. You are an evangelist. Why don't you gossip about Jesus? Then change your gossip. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Change your what? Gossip. Start gossiping about Jesus. Yeah. Say, today I have some gossip. This, they were, what they were telling us at church. Gossip about it and then see your life shining more. See your life shining more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See your life changing. Hallelujah. It's a negative gift. That's why you like talking to people. All right, all right, fine. Talk to people. But what are you talking to them about? Change the subject. Hallelujah. Phone someone if you want to phone somebody. All right. Phone them and share what the word, what the, the God is saying through the word of God. Hallelujah. Just say, I, I just called you to discuss something with you. What do you want to discuss? I want us to discuss Psalms 27. What is it? What is the writer talking about here? Hallelujah. Amen. Change your, your gossip. Everyone went to Jesus. Because of a woman, hallelujah, who was just converted. Amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I think we must go back to the basics. Hallelujah. Can you just go and speak Jesus to one person? Hallelujah. Can you just go and share good news with somebody? Can you just go and invite somebody for to, to the house of God? Amen. amen. The Bible says, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of God. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said to me, let us go. Hallelujah. There are people that must say, let us go. Be that person who say, let us go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. She brought the whole city to Jesus. She brought the whole city to what? Jesus. You don't need many scriptures to win souls. You don't need complicated scripture. There is this man who is, we respect a lot. He is going to be with the Lord. And we salute that great man of God, Billy Graham. Billy Graham's crusade was filled. Stadiums were filled. Billy Graham's message was John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, hallelujah, that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Every day, if the crusade is Monday to Friday, John 3, verse 16. And they ask him, why you don't change scripture? He said, you know what? There's no gospel, but the gospel is the love of God. And the multitudes were born again in the crusade of Billy Graham. Multitudes were born again. One scripture. Go so love the world. Hallelujah. He kept his only begotten son. He was only talking about God's love. To preach the gospel is not to castigate people because of their sin. No. To preach the gospel is to tell God the love of God. Amen. Amen. It is the love of God that converts. It is the love of God that brings repentance. Believe God would just say, for God so loved the world, and people who cry tears, shedding tears, receiving the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Receiving God. I am challenging you. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants you to be the light. The Bible says we are the light of the world and you are the salt of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you the light? Amen, amen. amen. That means preach the gospel. Share the gospel. I want to tell you something. People are so troubled. People are trapped in some things that when you hear them you will be shocked. Some people are smiling on the face. They put out the foundation on their face but deep down under that foundation somebody is dying. They don't know who to tell. They don't know who to share with. They don't know. Hallelujah. Just 
learn to share the word of God. Sometimes you are going to save the soul. Sometimes you are going to rescue somebody who is about to take away their lives. Hallelujah. Begin to normalize sharing Jesus. Normalize just speaking the love of God. Normalize it. Hallelujah. Make it your habit to just say, do you know Jesus loves you? Do you know uh, God loves you? Sometimes make it a habit to just say, ah, I just want to invite you to where we worship if you can come. Amen. Amen. Oh, I, I want to share the word of God that was shared. This is the word that was shared. Amen. Amen. You don't know. You will save some. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, by all means save some. We must by all means save what? Some. We must by all means save some. In any situation, the Bible says, preach the word in season and out of season. In, 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 in the instant, in season and out of what? You know what? Sometimes your encouragement comes when you begin to share the word of God. Sometimes the problem is you, you must know sometimes that your encouragement is not just to sit alone and listen to your pain. No. Sometimes your encouragement comes when you start ministering to others. When you start ministering to others, you are encouraged also. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? God, how did God deal with Job? I, 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 I was analyzing that scripture in the book of Job 42. God, Job is in trouble. He, he, his body is so destroyed. The waves are eating his body. And Job is so destroyed and he is in bitterness of soul because of the agony and the pain that he was going through. Amen. But how did God restore Job? God restored Job when Job prayed for his what? For his friends. Are you hearing me? Yeah. My, my question is, how can Job of all the people pray for his friends? It's like it's him that was in need of what? Of prayer. But God had to wait for him to pray for the friends. That prayer was a sacrifice. Because even to pray was difficult because the body was so weak. But God restored. God says, when God prayed for his friend, God turned away the captivity of Job. So sometimes you are going to break your property as you minister to others. Hallelujah. Sometimes to realize your dream, you have to help other people's dreams. How did Joseph realize his dream? When he helped other guys to solve their dreams, his dream was also solved. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Are you hearing something? If Joseph was wallowing in, in bitterness, they arrested me for a sin that I did not commit. They put me in the place. Stop complaining. People are used. It's not the people that are doing it. It's that it's the, there is a spirit. There are reasons. Hallelujah. Some people are commanded to do certain things by season. Oh my God. Am I talking to you? When God is bringing a season, he is going to use people to introduce a season to you. You know that it's a, it, 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 you know the kind of season you are by the behavior of people that are around you. When you see people rejecting you, you must know it's time to be with God. Hallelujah. When you see certain things happening in your life, you must know they are introducing a new season to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before Joseph could rise, he experienced so much hatred and rejection. That was an introduction. The season was being introduced by hatred. Hallelujah. Hatred was actually a tool in God's hands to bring Joseph to his place of destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. Never fight evil with evil. Because the evil that is coming to, to a believer is going to work for good. You are fighting your, 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 your vehicle or your instrument of, bless, of blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to you? Yes. Joseph, when you write your testimony, when you stand to testify, Joseph, thank God for your brothers. Thank them for hating you. If the brothers had loved you, Joseph, you were not going to meet Potiphar. Joseph, when you stand up to testify, thank God for your brothers, they threw you in the pit. Because if they had not thrown you in the pit, you would never have learned humility. Because Joseph, the way down is the way up. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Listen, Joseph. When you stand on that pulpit to testify, you have to thank Potiphar's wife. Why? Because you were getting too comfortable in Potiphar's wife, in Potiphar's house. And God realizes that this boy is getting too comfortable in the house of Potiphar. He thinks that he has arrived. Let me cause the wife to create a sin so that we can disturb the comfort.
what that is enjoying. Remember, the Bible says, Potiphar made Joseph an overseer of all that he had. He became an overseer. Joseph thought that he had already arrived. Joseph thought this was the dream where people are bound to him. Because I believe that the servants in Potiphar's house were bound to Joseph. The servants were bowing to him because he was the chief in the house. But God realizes that the boy is not too comfortable. And God says, let us help this boy. Let's remove the comfort. And the wife came. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you everyone who is hating you. Thank them. They are your blessing agents. Amen. They are your blessing agents. Are you hearing me? Amen. Everyone that is hating you, pray for them. That's why the Bible says, pray for those that despitefully use you. Because they are your blessing agents. That's why you must what? Bless them. You must what? Because if you don't help these people, you will not be blessed. Thank God for the brothers. Joseph, your faith, your, when you testify, thank God for that, key, for that prisoner whom you told the dream. And you said, please remember me when you get out. And he forgot you. Thank him for forgetting you. Because if he had told about the dream, maybe you were, the dream would have been told in the wrong place. But God waited for the opportune time when Pharaoh dreamt. When you follow what? The, 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 sometimes your, your dreams are, sp are being spoken to useless people who cannot do anything about your dream. This is a prayer, this is a prayer point. Father, let my dreams be spoken to the right people. Your problems are being spoken to the wrong people. Imagine somebody, you know, someone's life changed because someone mentions their problem. When the president was there, the president said, oh, do something, let's take scholarship. There are others that have problems, but their problems are being spoken in the wrong place. So God waited for Pharaoh to dream. And then that man said, now I have a man who can interpret what? And then they will bring him out. Why do you leave him there? Bring him out. Amen. Amen. Do you realize that the things are connected? Yeah. It's divine. Yeah. So when everyone is hating you, thank them because they are your blessing agent. Mm -hmm. When a situation comes your way, thank God for that situation. If you are spiritual, you have to understand that all things work together for God. Even bad things. They work together for what? For the love of God. Who are called according to his what? Purpose. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my God. Yeah, play the chords. Play the chords in the background. That's it. Amen. Amen. Do we have time? Who are? Don't leave yet. If you're hungry, I'll take you for lunch. <laughs> okay. Amen. Do it. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't know those things, they trigger the prophetic. Yeah. If you play very well, they trigger the prophetic. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, we are in the spirit. Amen. Amen. And this is purely prophetic. This is pure what? I don't use notes. I used to use notes. Please forgive me. Until God says, now you are a prophet of nation. When you talk to people, don't even scripture. Don't, I don't have scripture I have written. There is no paper here. Look, there is no paper. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is no scripture written on a paper. There is no scripture written on a paper. But I am standing in front of you. It's another ministry. Say another ministry. Another, another ministry. ministry. Yes, you, you reach this stage by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. So I, I don't write scripture because they don't. Because you will be prophetic. You will speak to them as you hear. Right now, what I want you to speak, you know what I'm speaking. You will speak as you want. As you hear. It takes faith. Because if you don't have faith, you will come here in stamina. <laughs> <laughs> in stamina. It takes faith. Amen. Amen. Now pray for those people because they are agents of your blessing. Amen. Amen. A certain man was standing on the queue to board the flight. I'm going to want you to save this man from a crash, plane crash. Amen. Amen. And then came one arrogant woman 
and she caused a lot of havoc because the, the plane was to be delayed. Caused the havoc in the queue, caused the havoc, and uh, caused a lot of havoc until that man volunteered and he said, you know what, that's fine, come and take my position. And he went and they stood at the back of the what? And they said, the flight is had problems. We are just going to take these few people in front, including the lady who was arrogant, she was taken. Said, you that are here, we will organize another plane because your plane has had problems. It's cancelled, basically. So when that man was saved from there, that plane which this went crashed. So he said, our God can save your life. Please be spiritual. Are, are you hearing me? You will never, you will never, you will never be angry with, with people because people are used by seasons. People are used by entities. Are you hearing me? People are used by what? By seasons. Seasons manifest through people. There's a time that we suffered so much rejection with my wife. Rejection, left, right, and center. Rejection.